Yo guys, what's up? My name is 3R and this is Professor Flaxbeard's Wondrous Steam Power Mod. Oh yeah. Alright, so what do we have here? Here we have uh, some guns. This one's uh, a little upside down. Um, here are the guns that the mod adds into the game and they're sort of like, uh, let's take a look at one of them. They're blunderbusses and pistols and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can hold right click down and charge them up. Bang! crazy pretty loud too so yeah kind of annoy your friends with them all right uh, so I got a steamed fish here let's get out of that uh, here are some tools that the game the mod adds and it's a drill let's take one of those steam drill um, I will tell you how to charge these up and use them later on uh, here's a power glove which is used for the exosuit here that I also have on put the helmet on here it looks kind of weird so check this out BAM all right, and then here is the cool spyglass. And with the spyglass, you can hold down right click and you keep zooming in. And this is about as zoomed in as you can get. It's pretty zoomed in. Let's take a look at some of those bats. Where are they? Where's them bats at? Uh, all right, this is some crap in my inventory. Don't, don't worry about that. All right, so let's start off with this. This is basically all the ores that the mod adds here. It's just copper and zinc here, but very important for building all the stuff you see around you. Uh, so you're gonna mine that stuff up, and then you're gonna build yourself a what is this? Extend innovation. Actually, let's try that out. So you're gonna take you're gonna take a book, you're gonna take some copper ore, and you're gonna take some zinc ore, and then bam, you get a steamed innovation. Sweet. Uh, I don't toss this away. I don't need this. All right. So that's pretty much it. And this this book basically tells you all the stuff that I'm going to forget to tell you. Here we have a molding uh, sort of station. Um, this is basically the standard, very compact station. Uh, it only does one mold. Um, so the things you'll need to craft are crucibles, uh, molds, and um, the molding templates. So if we take some of these bricks here. We can craft. Not, oh, that's not a crafting table. So with that is a second. We can craft. And get a crucible. And take some of these. Let's go here. So it's just the first top six, and then you get a mold block. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then also two like this, and you get a blank mold, which is pretty cool. And the blank mold, you take it to one of these things, which is um, which craft like so with some wood and a blank mold. Take the blank mold, you right click it onto the t uh, onto the table, and it changes into a nugget mold, plate mold, ingot mold, and it just cycles through them. And then what you can do with these is I'm going to make a plate one. You can put it into the mold here and it kind of forms it in and you close it up and then here I have a crucible full of I think um, zinc and some other stuff and we'll talk about that later. We right click in it, it pours it in which is pretty cool and then you see go out and go down a little bit and it wobbles back and forth, open it up, bam nothing's there. Why is nothing there? Because it's in the hopper now and the hopper will lead it to the chest and then bam there it is. Okay, brass plate. So. Um, normally, without the hopper, we could, we'll do it here. It'll go in, and bang, pops out. So, if you don't want to go in everywhere, just put a hopper beneath it, and it'll channel directly into the hopper, and you don't need to worry about it. And you can set up a bunch of these, because this is kind of a slow process. Obviously, you have to right-click them, and then open them, and all that kind of stuff to even get them in the hopper. Alright, so we're going to make one of our own over here, so you guys know how to make it, basically. So first we're going to take a flint and steel here, and we're going to right click the nether rack, and bang, we got some fire. That's basically to heat the crucible. We need that to heat the crucible. Then we're going to take our supports here. Um, these aren't necessary, but these are just for aesthetic looks, so I'm sure you would add them yourself. Just because a crucible hanging out of nowhere just looks weird. Um, then we're going to add a crucible down. Now it's heated up. And then we're going to add a hopper and a mold. Hopper's going to lead into this chest here. But blam, and then the mold. Uh, you can put it like you can put it any way you want. Um, the more standard way to put it is like this, facing the crucible because it's got the little knob hole there at the oop, at the front, and you need a blank hand to um, to close it, which is kind of a little bit strange. So we're gonna we're gonna put a mold in here. So we're gonna get the mold from here, and I think we're gonna make. Let's see. Let's make a nugget. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, let's make a nugget. Um, now, uh, you can either melt gold, iron, anything you want, any anything that is in ingot form, or you can take three copper and one zinc, 
And you just drop him into the crucible like this. And then bang, it turns colors. Close it up. Pour it out. And then you open it up. There it is. Okay, brass. So the copper and the zinc. Three copper, one zinc equals brass. And that's how you make brass. And that's basically what all this other stuff is made of. Alright, let's move on because we've been spending a lot of time here. Alright, so here's a tank. This thing's with the pegs on it. This is a tank. This is a boiler. And these are pipes. And these, this little guy right here, this is a steam gauge. You can basically put this guy anywhere you want on, a, uh, on the face of a block. And it will say the pressure that it's got going through it. So I'm going to show you here how to get steam. So you take some coal, fuel, lava, whatever you need. Put a water bucket in the bottom. And then it'll start heating it up. And it should put it into the thing. It disappears it goes very quickly. It stores a lot of steam. So you won't really notice it at first. But if it does, dis the water does disappear and the coal is still going. Then yes, you have been producing steam. So don't worry about that. Um, here's how to make everything. This is how to make the tank. This is how to make the boiler furnace in the middle and this is how to make a pipe with three on the top three on the bottom this is how to make a gauge brass nuggets and a compass this is how to make what I'm about to show you here which is the sort of charging station for everything what's it called Let's take a look at it a steam filler now it should be filling up with steam if we hold it now uh, how do you yeah I think it should be filling up with steam that's it that's how to charge the stuff that requires steam and um there are some other things that require steam as well, like uh, the exosuit pieces. So the steam heater is basically uh, changing the way furnaces work. So if you put a furnace on top or beside or below one of these steam heaters like I have here, you basically can cook anything without having to actually use coal, which is actually kind of cool. So we're going to take some uh, raw meat here, if I can find some. Take some raw pork chop here. We're going to... Oop, I dropped it because I'm dumb. All right, I'm gonna put it in the furnace here like that, and it's gonna start cooking. It's awesome. So we're gonna see a little interesting outcome here because it's not gonna be normal cooked raw or cooked pork chop. We're instead gonna see steamed pork chop, which is kind of interesting. So essentially, it's steaming food and steaming everything you cook, which is kind of cool. All right, so next we're moving on to the anvil and this guy, the steam hammer. So basically, a steam hammer um, allows you to I guess, uh, name and enchant and repair anything without actually using experience, which is a huge bonus. All right, so we take this. We're going to take the Fortune 3. So this is actually a very good benefit. And then, bang, it's done. Yeah, it's done. Take it out. You put it back, whatever, do whatever you want. Brass pickaxe, Fortune 3, sweet. All right, so now we've done that. So now the next sort of novelty thing of the, uh, of the mod is this cannon this is mortar and how this works is you basically get over here you apply steam so you just pipe in some steam from one of those boilers over there and you get enough of it and then you take one of these things called an astrolabe and you take the astrolabe and you go somewhere you want it all to go so i want it all to go over to this cog target i have over here we have a hopper, which is kind of useless because you'll see why in a second. You shift, right click on the place you want it to generically land, and you go back to the mortar, and you right click on the mortar, and it should get adjusted to where it should go. And then it says also on the astrolabe, it says where the where the target is. Note that this does not, this does not include Z direction, so three dimensional targets are not 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 really a, a thing. You can't like hit the side of a wall with one of these mortars. You have to hit a floor. So if we now, okay, so that was it. So now we just take some items. Let's take, uh, let's take that pickaxe. Let's take the pickaxe, and we're gonna toss the pickaxe. We put it in the hopper. The hopper is connected directly to the mortar, as you can see here. Uh, you just drop the pickaxe in, and it goes, and then boom, shoots out. Oh my gosh, where'd it go? Well, let's go see if it's over there. Hmm, it's not over there. Maybe it's just gonna wait to fall, because I mean, it probably shot it up there pretty high up. Let's just sit here and wait a little bit. There it is. Yeah. All right. So you can kind of see the cool little uh, effect it has when it hits the ground. It cracks the ground a little bit. And it's got this whole mortar shell and everything. And it's got the item floating above it. So pick it up. You just walk over it. You pick it up. You don't actually get the mortar shell or anything. You just get the pickaxe, which is pretty cool. So you can go back. And that's basically everything that is to deal with the, the mortar. 
Um, now we have the exosuit thing. So do you take you take one of these, um, one of the suit pieces, which you can learn how to craft in this this guy right here. Uh, we see here exosuit. We can still have to make the engineering table, which I'm about to use right now, which is three cobblestone, uh, seven cobblestone and an iron plate. Um, the helmets and stuff are made with gauges, brass nuggets, and brass plates. Pretty cool stuff. So we're gonna go into this engineering table. And we're going to take the steam exosuit chest beat and put it in this box and you'll see we have the options for some stuff here and we're gonna the first uh, what you need to get first is is a steam tank all right so you take that you put it into your your guy and then bam now he has a sort of a, a charge level I'm gonna put him in there and he's gonna start charging up you see the steam coming off him like that pretty cool so we're gonna let him charge up here um this uh this is pretty cool other stuff you can add to it so we're gonna add what is known as a jet pack we're gonna add a jet pack to this thing so let's put it in actually i had a jet pack there put it in and i believe it goes yeah there it goes so now when you just put it in there you just take it out and it's already in there every it's always it's, it's always in there um what i'm also gonna add is some stuff into the boots which is fall assist which can be there we go and that adds fall assist to the boots so we're gonna so once that gets all steamed up here we're gonna change this one out to this one and we're gonna see we're gonna give this ooh, what does that say one steam consumed per flying tick okay so we're gonna try flying woo yay whoa look at that wow we're fast okay so that's good and I have that fall assist so I mean I'm already in creative anyway but so if we can Oh, that's pretty neat. That's oh, look at that. Whoosh! All right, let's uh, how how much do this thing? Okay, this thing has a lot of steam still. All right, let's. Oh wow, this thing is bulky. This looks really cool. I really like the looks of this mod. It really feels like steampunky, bulky steampunky type things. My cape is glitching through the thing. That's pretty cool. I guess no one's usually ha gonna have a cape. So, this is a pretty cool steam uh, jetpack here. I like this jetpack. I like the way the particle effects just kind of move with it. That's pretty cool. Okay guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and be honest. The download link for this mob is in the description, so go check it out. You guys won't be disappointed. Now I have to go deal with this leak over here. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.